What is the origin story? Where did your family business begin? So we started out in Gujarat, in, uh, outside a, a small city called Jamnagar, which was a small city back then. Today it's become uh, a center for one of the biggest Indian companies in, in India, the Reliance. Um, oh, really? Yeah, yeah They of have course, a massive uh, uh, number of businesses there. Yeah. Um, we ended up uh, making a bet on silver, uh, and it turned out to be a bad bet. We lost a lot of money, and um, our family said we've got to find somewhere else to move on to. And at that time, this was the early 1900s, there was a drought in India, especially in Gujarat. So our family crossed the Indian Ocean and um, went to Kenya, landed in Mombasa, Kenya, and began trading as merchants, as you said. And that's really the origin of how our, our family business started. Um, really, it started in, in East Africa. And so what, what did that look like in Kenya? Like what businesses did you grow in Kenya? It was simple trading, um, you know, commodities uh, in a small retail shop uh, kind of uh, an environment. Wow. And we used to trade goods across the Indian Ocean on these clipper ships. Uh, oh, really? Today, you know, just as a side note, when, you know, when we draft up our family constitution and we send out family communication, our logo of our family is the clipper ship. No way. So that's what we, you know, that's how we tra- uh, trace back our heritage. I didn't know that. In, uh, so in, in the small village that I'm from, Chester, it, there was also, there was even a newspaper called the Chester Clipper, mm-hmm. but the clipper ships were common I'm sure they were different design, but it was a, a common part of our history in that region too. That's a great connection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's interesting. Good. So, so it started off with basic trading. It obviously grew into much more. So, yeah. where did it go next? What was the first big success? I guess. So we we began. Uh, I think my my grandfathers began working for somebody else when we were there. We didn't start off as entrepreneurs. We we started working for somebody else and. Uh, I think we ended up buying the business from him as he okay. began to retire. And that was the, the kind of the merchant and the trading business. From there, we went into the tan- into tanneries. We went into plastic injection molding and finally into corrugated steel roofing sheets. And um, that was, you know, the, what en- what's ended up being our main business now. Um, uh, and in the 1970s really was a turning point when we decided to uh, start a steel rolling mill in Mombasa, Kenya, Mm. uh, together with another family. So we made, we partnered up with Marubeni, uh, the large Japanese conglomerate, uh, as well as another Indian family and started a rolling mill in East Africa. Wow. The first one in the country. And you were born in London though. So how how did that happen? How did the family end up in Europe? So, and you know, we started these, uh, this rolling mill in the 70s, um, and the family started expanding into other countries in Africa. They had this, a new generation of young members coming into the family, a young men, mostly. At that time, only men were allowed in the family business. Uh, they'd recently got educated, and so as they started entering the business, they got put into different operations. Uh, my father was sent to Nigeria to, to open a business. Uh, other people went to Uganda, Tanzania, to start a corrugated roofing um, sheet businesses so that in a way we could uh, give volume upstream to the rolling mill in Mombasa, Kenya. Hmm. Um, Then in the 1970s, uh, late 1970s, Idi Amin um, uh, kicked out a lot of the expatriates from Uganda. Mm -hmm. And that was a wake-up call to our family. We'd always known Africa was politically unstable, a bit of a Wild West area. Mm-hmm. But when he, uh, Idi Amin confiscated all our assets and, and literally our family had to leave with just their shirts on their backs, uh, that's when the family said, we need to expand out into the West. All right, I'm Luke Hanson McDonald. This is Beyond the Family Business. Please like and subscribe and share with other business families or family businesses that you may know. Thank you.